guys and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to pick up the camera and do a little vlog. It's been a while since I vlogged but I feel like I've done quite a few updates to the RV to make it more homey so I wanted to share about that in today's video and then I also wanted to do a few things to the kids room so that's what today's video is going to be about. If you've never watched my channel or don't really know we sold our home over a year ago and moved full time into the RV. We did a little bit of traveling. We went through like Ohio, Pennsylvania, Illinois, Missouri, Texas, Louisiana and made our way all the way up to South Carolina and settled down here bought some land and we will be building but meanwhile while we build we're living in the RV full time right now we're actually staying in North Carolina our plan is to get like water septic electric hookups on our land and then be able to live on our land while we build it's gonna be a while until that happens so right now we're just staying in North Carolina at a campground that's not too far away but because we are more stationary now we're not traveling from park to park every three four days we're staying at one park for quite a while I wanted to make this RV as homey as possible even though it was pretty homey in my opinion I wanted to add like curtains and I'm just doing like little things around here so if you've never watched my channel welcome first of all I do want to do a bit of a tiny home tour RV tour when I decorate for the holidays because I feel like it's just so cozy and I love the holidays so excited to do that but today I just wanted to do like a brief overview and share what I'm going to be doing in the kids room so behind me we have the kitchen I do have a few videos of how we renovated the RV if you guys are interested because we did buy it off auction and we did do a few updates to it but we have the kitchen back here I have my little potpourri pot going with my fall blend it makes the house smell so good and then as I pan here we have the entertainment living space the kids homeschool section there I do want to change out that map which I do love that map we've used it when we were traveling it's from trip map world but because we're more stationary now as I mentioned we're not really using it so I want to put it away and maybe do like three frames and then here's just like the kids homeschool stuff it's all over the place right now and then here we have chai little chai sleeping on the couch but this is our main sitting living room space area right here a recent addition that has made this space a lot cozier is these curtains right here I have these curtains I've had them since we basically got married and I'm glad I kept them because they are perfect for the space but it wasn't until recently that I figured out how to actually hang them because with RVs you don't have sheetrock I think they use aluminum bars my husband said or something like that you have to drill into the aluminum studs versus sheetrock so a little hack that I did is I bought these tension rod holders off of Amazon I bought some more so I'll show you guys what they look like out of the package and I popped the curtain rod into there and it's holding it pretty well like I have no issues I'm mainly using these curtains for aesthetic purposes just to add like a little cozy vibe so I'm not moving them back and forth but it really helped to make this space a lot homier and then it also helped to cover up the shades that we have we took off the valances they were not that cute in my opinion but we kept the shades because they're super functional the only problem is I didn't know how to cover up like the top portion there was like nails sticking out so not that cute but the curtains definitely definitely help and then back there that's the room that I want to work on today that is the kids bedroom and from first glance there's like this really dark back wall basically what this is is the toy hauler garage we have a keystone toy hauler and what toy hauler garages are is where people store their toys whether it's motorcycles four-wheelers whatever it is you'll be able to see the back floor here kind of slopes downward and this opens up and you can push this wall down into a bit of a patio which is really nice or you can push it all the way down into a ramp and that's how people get their toys in here we use this as the kids bedroom we love this layout because they only need the beds to sleep and then you just lift the beds up here let me show you guys they go down when it, they need it for the night and then you roll them all the way up when you no longer need them. And then you have all this place to play. So let me actually turn on the light. But this back wall is just so dark and stark and this just doesn't feel homey to me. So I've been picking at my brain trying to figure out ways that I can make it a lot more homier. So I've seen a few pictures online. There are some really great inspo pictures. I've seen people change out the doors into like French doors, which I don't know how they do that because French doors have glass and the RV shakes so much and I just, I don't know, I don't know that whole situation. So we kept the original doors. You could technically repaint them, but 
we don't have time for that nor the desire so the next best bet in my opinion is adding curtains so i bought some curtains i had these in my old house and i absolutely love them they are pretty affordable they are these velvet curtains here they're not blackout curtains which is the main reason why they're so affordable but i love them so much my mom loved them too she got them for her for her house and i'm going to be hanging these today using that same method this is the rod holder right here let me actually open it up and show you guys it does come with screws if you want to screw it into the wall but i use it with the adhesive that they provide and they also have some extra adhesive in case you need it which i think is really nice this is what it looks like i bought mine in the clear one because i don't really want to see it one thing that i wanted to know is when you are buying a curtain rod if you're going to be using this method for whatever reason just make sure that the curtain rod ends the caps are flush because if they're rounded they're not going to sit well in this curtain rod holder so just make sure you're buying curtain rod that has like flush end caps i got this black one because we have black accents here in the rv so i'm going to put that together try to get it up and then hopefully it doesn't look weird or tacky or anything the only issue that i think i might run into is there's not a lot of space right here in between the bunks and the door so i don't know if the curtains are going to look weird or they're going to like when the bed is going up and down what that situation will be like but i guess we'll see we'll cross that bridge when we get there so here's the before just for reference okay i climbed up on the top bunk now i'm going to try to do the rod and then put the curtains down so these are the curtains here chai what's going on she trying to climb up here i feel like she is chai you can't come here they're not blackout but they're really nice i'll show another close-up once i actually hang them up just like this nice velvet velvet material sorry not the best lighting but it is what it is i think i'm gonna place it probably here sorry you can't see what i'm doing but i think i'm gonna put the rod right here as close to this door frame as possible that way when the bed goes up and down it's not gonna pull on the curtains or anything like that let me just make sure that this length i got 96 inches i don't want it dragging on the floor too much i don't mind it touching the floor i actually like that look but i don't want them like complete oh my goodness chai how did you get up here Sh little mischievous cat i tell ya wait did i buy two packs of two each pack has two and i bought four oops i think i'm gonna return one okay you let me know is it touching the floor now no what about now oh uh, yeah all right so actually this height will be perfect so I think I'm gonna place it just how I planned but I gotta do these rod holders first so I use the sticky tabs that it comes with which is basically peel off the backing stick one side to the curtain rod holder and then the other side to the wall easy peasy lemon squeezy um, and it's been working really well for the other curtains so I figured why not do it for here as well here's what it looks like from the top I'm going to go ahead and lift the bunks and see what it looks like with the bunks up. Alright, here's the after. It takes me a little bit of time to get used to things anytime I change them. Plus, I feel like the fact that you can't see the top of the curtain rods like you usually do. All you see is bunk beds. It's a little bit different than your typical curtain situation. It's kind of throwing me off, but I do like the curtains and I like that they made the space not only home mirror, but they covered the bulk of that back door back there. And they don't touch the bed when I'm going up and down. They don't move at all. So I like that. I ended up lifting the curtains a little bit higher. Not the rod itself, but the curtain has two pockets, the top one and then the bottom one. I placed the rod through the bottom one so that they would be lifted a little bit higher. And I feel like this is the perfect length. But here's a close-up of the fabric again they're not blackout curtains but really nice quality for the price especially if you love a velvet curtain they have tons of different colors and i got these in 96 inches they're not steamed or anything so don't mind that i'm probably not going to steam them let's be honest and tomorrow i'm going to continue this vlog and i'll show you guys the bench i feel like the bench will definitely add a little bit something and hide those boxes there that i'm not too crazy about i do want to add a dresser i found one on amazon that i really like the only problem is when we lower the beds, the beds go down to about the top of that blue Lego box there, 
or the toys right here we keep put the gray ones on the floor and lower the bed if i had a dresser i would have to move the dresser every single night in order to lower the bed because if we were to lower the bed only up to the dresser it would be a little bit too high for the kids to get onto but i do want to add a dresser because i could use the extra storage we got this on facebook marketplace before we moved in here and it holds all the kids clothes and stuff but I could definitely use a little bit more storage for the kids. So I feel like a dresser would be really nice. And then I do want to get a live plant for here. There's quite a bit of natural light in here. And I feel like a pop of green, a nice plant, maybe like a fiddle leaf or something would be really nice for this space. So that's my idea for how to do this room. I was going to change the rug. I wanted to get a washable rug from Rugs USA. I might hold off on that because this one is just not very functional it like this is the door that we usually use and there's a lot of traffic and it gets dirty and plus it's higher pile so i can only imagine what's going on in that rug so i do want to get a washable rug but we'll see right now i have this one it works well so you know whatever it is what it is but those are my plans for this room and i feel like with just those few additions it's going to make this room a lot cozier and homier i'm filming on my iphone because i took my camera as soon as I turned it on, my battery died and I don't feel like going back in the RV to get the other battery. So I'm just going to film on my iPhone. But we're in the car and we're headed to Walmart. I have Eloise here with me. And I want to buy a plant, like I mentioned, and then a few other things. And then hopefully today the bench comes in so I can like situate that room and make that vision come to life. It rained last night or this morning or like through the night. And everything is so fresh and so pretty. Let me show you guys our little corner. My husband got some wood from the land and he like stacked it up here. And we have our little stringy lights. Let me show you guys. I'm loving all the fall colors. By the way, that's like a community cat. I don't know. She just comes here every morning and goes from like RV to RV. So we feed her like every day and she keeps coming back. But just wanted to show you guys all the beautiful colors in this cute little corner here. my camera but we made it out of Walmart I still have to stop by the UPS store and return the other two panels that I accidentally bought so if you're buying them just know it comes with two panels I bought two packs of two so I ended up getting four I'm gonna return the other ones I picked up the fiddle leaf this guy right here I'll show you guys what it looks like when we get in the RV and got some cat food for the cat and these little gel sticky things for the window I wanted to get some on Amazon I saw some on Amazon but then I saw that Walmart had some, so I was like, oh, these are really cute. And I wanted to get them for the kids to apply to their windows in the kids' room. Now off to the UPS store. I might stop by Hobby Lobby just to see. Sometimes they have really interesting furniture pieces. Might be too expensive, though. But I just want to see. Just browse and see. And then I want to be on the lookout for velvet ornaments. I have some in my trunk. I got some brown ones. I think chocolate and then, like, a brown color. And I saw online that they have an ivory color as well but I didn't see it in store, so I want to see if maybe they restocked. We'll see. All done with the errands. Unfortunately, they did not have any of those velvet ornaments. I purchased some from Target from, I think it's McGee and Co or whatever the brand is. And I barely even got those. I only got one set and I wanted to add onto that set. But they're out of stock and right now they only have the black ones left in Hobby Lobby. So if you can snag them, highly recommend them because I think they're super pretty. And they didn't really have any furniture either. So we're just gonna go home now and I'm just gonna wait for my packages. like cafe quality you guys cafe tosh but anyway it is the next day my bench did not come in it's delayed so it says it's gonna come in today hopefully it comes in today package has arrived at last so excited oh it looks so pretty and it is white ish it's like a beigey color which some people might think that's probably not the best idea especially right near the door entrance I was gonna get the coffee one because it's darker and it will conceal stains and things like that more 
but I don't know I was just set on this I feel like this will brighten up the room a lot more and I wasn't crazy about the brown color and then if anything I can bring this into our home and use it like in front of the bed in a guest room our bedroom whatever so it's something that I can actually utilize in our own house as well and it was $99 pretty affordable compared to what's out there but the shipping was $30 so it took about a week to ship, a little bit more than Prime. And then I think I'll wait for Black Friday to order a washable rug. Because I feel like Black Friday has a lot of great deals on rug websites. Okay, remove this cover. Let's assemble this baby. a little bit longer I wish I had one of those wrenches my husband has it somewhere I just he's not home right now where you don't have to lift it you could just kind of go back and forth without having to lift it so it took a little bit longer and then one of the peg screws doesn't want to go in all the way so I wasn't able to tighten it I might reach out to the company and talk to them about that but otherwise for a hundred dollars plus the thirty dollar shipping I would say it's really cute bench I've read some reviews where people took off the gold because they didn't like how it looked. I'm probably going to keep it. Here's an up close of the texture. It's kind of like a boucle texture. And this is the beigey color. So it's not too warm toned. I would say it's more of like a true beige. Like a light beige. I'm really happy with it. And I'm so excited that this room is kind of coming together. But here's what we have so far. Let me know what you guys think. It looks so much homier already in my opinion. And I love it. And I think I'm going to finish the video here. I might do a music montage of kind of panning through the house, the RV, of what I added so far. Just to show you guys what I did to make it as homey as possible. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm going to call out of breath. I'll link anything down below. You can always check out my Amazon storefront for anything that I talk about. I try to link it to the storefront. But thank you guys so much for watching. And hopefully I'll see you guys in future videos. Mm -hmm.